Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial. So as the title says, today in this video, I will show you that how to use the timer in Android Studio. So I guess the timer is one of the most important thing in most of the Android applications. Nowadays, we have seen that there are a lot of application like reward application that that will pay you uh, like something like that, that will pay you money or recharge and something like that for just doing just clicking on this ad and just doing something like this sharing with your friends and uh, something like that and in most of the application we have seen we have the timer and uh, not only in this in these applications we also seen in some games we have seen that the, there is a timer which which are which actually limits the user to to do the things so likewise today in this video i will show you that how you can able to add a timer inside your android application so first i'm going to the android studio so i have a blank project which is a empty activity with the project name as timer what i'm going to do is that we have we only require a text view in order to just make a timer which will show the time actually i'm going to the text i'm just i'm not changing anything at all i'm simply changing simply adding a id that is going to be the I need to catch inside the main activity. I'm going to give it as timer itself. Also, I'm adding the text size so that we can see a little bit more in size. Maybe 30 SP. So once that done, I'm just closing the activity underscore main.xml and moving to this main activity. And there is two ways that you can do. Maybe you can just create a method and call it inside this one create. So for a better understanding, I'm going to create a new method, which we actually discussed about this method and creating how, how we can able to just create a new method. So I'm going to add the timer inside a method, which is going to be private. So private void, and I want to set the method name as timer, and there is no arguments. So I'm just leaving the brackets. And finally, we have to add the curly braces and inside this curly braces we are going to add the new thing that is going to be the timer so we can simply add the timer and uh, it's already created by the java so all we have to do is simply add the keyword new and once that then we have to simply type c o u n that is count then here it is this is going to be what we are going to use in this tutorial that is countdown timer just clicking the or just selecting that one pressing enter and what we have to do is that we have to just give time that we require to show the timer I mean the total time inside this timer and once that time is up it will be going to display a second message that says like the timer is up or the timer has been completed something like that here you can see it says that long milli millis in future then long countdown interval so so what we have to do is we have to enter the total time inside this timer and all these things going to be in milliseconds not in seconds so i'm just giving it as just 5000 and it will be displaying for five seconds so we know that the 1000 millisecond is going to be a single second so like this i'm going to give it as five seconds so 5000 and once that done we have to just add a comma and now what we have to do is we have to if you want just, just add a space or there's no problem if there is no space again so once that done all we have to do is we have to add the interval so most in case the timer is going to be just one second then minus from each of the each of the time period so likewise i'm going to add one second so that is going to be 1000 it will be decreasing by 1000 within the five seconds with the, which is me mean, which means that when the app is started it will it will be five seconds then it is four seconds then three two one and times up so likewise so finally what we have to do is we have to just we have to cast this so all we have to do is just click somewhere else and just press the alt enter on the keyboard you can also just click on this symbol icon and click on the implement methods or you can also use the alt ender on the keyboard and now what we have to do is we have to select all both of these things one tick and one finish method now click on the ok and it automatically generate all the things what we require i'm just removing these messages 
removing these two okay so now what we have is one tick and one finish both of these method is really useful and uh, yeah it's kind of easy easy thing that is the timer so what we have to do is one tick is going to be the time when the timer is still there and the one finish is going to be when the timer is up so inside that we, we have to just display the timer time interval and when the time is up inside the what we say that inside the text view so we have just added the id as timer i'm going to declare the text view inside this one create method so now i have declared the text view inside this one create method what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the text view here so that is the variable name is text view itself so text view okay so you can see the text view is not actually came over here so the problem is that while accessing this variable in that we created inside the one create we have to just add some of the other things to just actually uh, get this variable name inside the other methods so all we have to do is we have to simply just remove this text view and we have to declare it it's here itself that is text view okay so now once that done all we have to do is now you can see it's almost okay now let's add the set one set text so set text and inside that i'm opening the two double quotes and I'm going to say that timer is okay timer is now this is the time left before it is going to get finished so that is timer left and uh, also maybe timer is is okay so once that done all we have to do is just add a plus and uh, now you can see in this one tick method we have the long which is uh, which is going to be an integer keyword type and uh, it given the long variable name as millis until finish it so this is going to catch time left before this timer is going to finish so i'm just adding it over here that is milli millis and blah 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 many other things so now we have added the timer is message and here it will be displaying the time left also we have to add by that is going to be this symbol slash forward slash and now we, what we have to do is we have to add just thousand so if we didn't add this by this slash and one thousand then it will be going to display something like uh, just numerical values like uh, the four thousand then nine hundred and something then minus sixty then minus sixty and something like that so the reason why we add by thousand is going to be just divide the timer by uh, one second so it will be displaying it is in it as four second then three second then two second and something like that and if you want you can also add a finally if you want you can also add a yes to just show it in the correct manner with a second with a second and uh, once that done all we have to do is we just come to this one finish and inside this we have to display a message when the timer is up that is going to be timer is finisher finish here. okay so now we are ready and finally in order to all these codes to work we have to add dot then start and then closing it okay so now we are ready but it is only inside this method now what we have to do is we have to just bring up this method inside the one create in order to just do that and if you want to just start the timer when a button is clicked then you have to just inside the one click listener you have to just add this timer like same thing that we are going to do inside this one create so that is going to be just timer that is the method and uh, you have to just add this line inside the one click listener of the button so yeah so now let's go and try this in a real android device so we have the android application in the android device and it's automatically started the timer and you can see now it's counting down the time is up so yeah that's it if you like this video and if you understand this video just give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel then hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video